Good morning. Have you guys ever seen the Delicio commercials? It's not delivery, it's Delicio. I mean, obviously it's not delivery, it doesn't taste like delivery at all, but it's still pretty good pizza, and that's what I'm making right now. Yes! This is one of my favorite pizzas, dude. Don't let the shells fool you. There's a lot of people there, not to mention I'm being absolutely spammed out in the chat. That's one of the big reasons I don't appear online on Trove. It's not that I don't want to hang out with people or anything, it's that you get spammed with invites and whispers and stuff, and I feel bad that I can't reply to all of them, but most of all it's the fact that I can literally get my controls locked out by everybody that's trying to invite me to their club world, invite me to uh, Shadow Towers, or just friending me in general. That said, it's still good for me every now and then to do what I just did, where I just spent like the past 40 minutes just kicking a bunch of people from the club, specifically so that I could start inviting all of those freaks. My pizza's almost done, because I can smell it, and it smells good. You think that looks done? I think it looks done. I've said this before, I'll say it again. I am now a YouTube cooking channel. Now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I'm going to spoil myself with a Coca-Cola. This is not endorsed in any way. I wish I was getting paid because I just love Coca-Cola. I probably shouldn't be having it and I'm gonna go right back to drinking tons of water and orange juice anyways because I should honestly cut down on the pop, but... Oh. So since today is gonna be the last day of being alone because Mariko's gonna be moving in, I've got a lot of stuff to do in my room. I really gotta start cleaning things up. Uh, I gotta go under my bed here and start clearing out some of the old garbage and junk that doesn't need to be there anymore because otherwise it's just been used for storage. And there's a lot of things in there that honestly don't need to be there for storage because Mariko's got quite a few things. But I'm feeling a little bit uh, anxious right now and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I haven't gone to the gym in a couple days because I've been sick. So I'm going to just push myself. I'm gonna feel overzealous about it because I'm actually feeling uh, I'm feeling pretty good so I'm feeling overly confident I mean I bike down to the gym which is probably not gonna be the best uh, decision so I'm gonna dress warm uh, put on a scarf and stuff like that because generally uh, when it comes to my immune system if I'm breathing in cold air that's usually what just is a dead giveaway where it's like you're gonna get sick so if I have a scarf or something like covering my neck and uh, you know kind of around my chin then usually I'm actually doing okay but anyways I'm gonna bike down to the gym and I'm actually going to be trying a different workout routine this time because normally what I'll end up doing and I'm not gonna get too into it but I just kind of follow strong lift exercises right so I do like the bench the deadlift and all of the you know the trinity of big exercises whatever uh, while mixing in like a whole bunch of different other exercises on top of it let me actually take a quick little peek on my phone here so I've had arm day, which is just like bench, uh, you know, incline bench, curls, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and then leg day, which is going to be squat, overhead press, deadlift, shrugs, and a whole bunch of other things. And then I've actually added, uh, since we've last talked about me going to the gym, the ab day. So it's just a whole day of exercises just focused on abs. Now that's all well and good, and I'm probably just going to keep on doing that from now until infinity, but for the most part, uh, right now I'm not feeling 100% confident, so I just looked online and there's this really big guy, uh, Hey Elliot or something like that, I, I've seen him before, and he kind of had this recommendation where you just do the deadlift dips on one day, and then you do front squats and chin-ups slash pull-ups on another day. Alright, I think I'm ready, but the more I think about doing that whole like only two exercise thing, 
Nah, man, that's just not gonna work for me. Jub Jub really wants to go with me. So when I get back, I'm definitely gonna have to take her to the park. This is probably gonna be really risky taking you guys with me for this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm at the gym now and my battery is almost dead, so I might see you guys back at home. If ever I end up getting sick or missing some days at the gym, I always continue with the last exercise that I was supposed to do. In this case, it was ab day. And I would say that that was actually a fantastic workout. I feel great, exhausted, but I feel great. The camera's really low battery, so I'm gonna start charging it, and then otherwise I'm gonna be recording this random indie game with Joe but he's running into a lot of technical issues, so hopefully we get to record it in time that I get to eat because food is on the way. So I just finished doing the video with Joe. It ended up being about half an hour. It's called Deep Rock Galactic is the game. No idea when I'm gonna get that one done because of course it being half an hour means that I gotta edit it down to 10 minutes because there was a lot of filler of just like digging and stuff like that. Joe said he's just gonna upload the full 30 minutes though, so. If you want to end up actually seeing the full content, I'll definitely put a description or a link in the description of that video when I get it done. But I'm hungry, dude, like seriously. So my parents are actually out with Jub Jub right now and apparently they're like at Dairy Queen and then they were gonna come back and bring me like a cheeseburger and some fries and like a sundae and stuff like that. So the sundae might not be the best, uh, the best choice. One thing though that I will say is Earlier today when I ended up having that Coca-Cola, right? I didn't actually drink it. I found it to be just disgusting when I was trying to actually drink it, which obviously means that I'm not like at 100% capacity as far as my health is concerned. But on top of that, I've been putting it off for a very long time and I really do want to start trying to take my health more seriously in that I really want to actually stop drinking pop in my life because generally I just feel a lot better when I'm just drinking water all the time or like juice and having fruit and stuff like that for natural sugars whereas when I'm drinking coca-cola uh, or Pepsi or whatever you know whatever I'm into at the time usually it'll be like uh, where I need to have like more and more and more of it each day so that I can end up actually feeling awake and coffee is something as well where I'm not too keen on it, like it's not necessarily my favorite, which I'm, I'm doing pretty good as far as the coffee is concerned, because I only have it like when I really just need a boost of caffeine to get some work done, and then otherwise for the most part I just find it to be disgusting. Now that said, if I'm going out to eat or something like that, obviously I'm gonna end up getting a pop, or maybe not. I don't know if I wanna make that level of commitment to you guys because then I'll feel bad if I end up going back on my word. But water is also a lot cheaper as well as just being way better for you. So I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna start taking it a little bit more seriously, guys, to get pop out of my life. I miss Jup Jup. Also, my eyes look really, really dark underneath. I don't know why. <laughs> Hello, Jub Jub. Hello, Jub Jub. Jub Jub. Yes. I am so hungry, dude. Seriously. It's actually not a bad burger. I really like the fries. It's pretty good. Don't worry, guys. I know it's Dairy Queen, so I still got myself a sundae. So I'm going on a uh, midnight stroll with Jub. It's actually not nearly as late as it looks. It's just getting dark really, really quick. I'm talking on the phone with Mariko, and while I would love to take you guys on this little adventure with me, I think I'm gonna skip it for today because I wanna get some serious jogging done, and I can't do that if I'm managing this camera the whole time. All right, so I'm back. Pretty much ended up jogging most of the time, I kept like jogging and then I would stop and walk for a little bit and then I would jog again. Starting to just take jogging a little bit more seriously because of that whole uh, 10K run that's coming up in April that I told you guys about. Jub Jub really enjoyed it. 
She got to spend a lot of her energy, so hopefully that means she's gonna be a little bit more tired today and actually got some exercise. And then I ended up reading up online just to kind of take things in life a little bit more seriously. I tried to figure out home remedies for getting rid of fleas because none of the medicine actually works. Like, it's stupid. You get charged like 50 or 60 bucks for something that only works temporarily. And even then, it never works. Like, every single time that I end up using it, it just doesn't do it. So I ended up kind of making this weird concoction of a potion to wash Jub Jub with, right? And then I washed her in a very, very specific way. She's been going a little bit bonkers and probably still has fleas on her I'm sure because normally what you're supposed to do is after you end up cleaning the dog normally I would end up cleaning her bed you know uh, using the vacuum on the carpet and everything like that see she's already starting scratching again but at least she's kind of stopping as you can see right so it's it's good and bad, but she's a little bit crazy right now. She always kind of gets crazy after she's been washed though, because she really does enjoy it. I'm gonna have hot dogs, because we finally have hot dog buns. See, the thing that I love about hot dogs the most, and I'll just tell you this as a nice little confident secret. I love putting chips in my hot dogs. How to make a hot dog. Boil it in water. Once the water fully boils, you can either take the hot dog out or leave it in for a couple minutes. Then you add it to the bun and you're done because it's just a hot dog and it's easy. This is it guys, my last night sleeping alone. Yeah! Mariko's gonna be moving in with me tomorrow. Or should I say today? Because it's like four in the morning now. Yes, that's right. It's like five or six hours since the last clip. So essentially what I ended up doing was I recorded the Boxu video. I was going to record the Munch Pack video. But guess what ended up happening? The camera started dying for no reason. Lately, that's kind of been what's happening with the camera is the battery is just getting worse and worse and worse. So I ended up actually buying like an actual good battery with a good battery charger. So that should hopefully end up helping uh, alleviate that. All right, everybody. So anyways, I don't want to drag this out longer than it has to be. I know that these vlog videos have kind of just been getting a little bit more repetitious lately. And that's just kind of going to end up happening as I try to make these vlog videos every day because not every day is going to end up being something crazy or unique. So hopefully you're still finding them entertaining, guys. You know, I'm going to keep doing these vlog videos hopefully every single day, uh, at least recording them every single day, even if they don't end up actually being uploaded every single day, right? But I gotta get myself some sleep. I didn't end up actually taking care of anything under my bed. So that means that I've got my hands full tomorrow and gotta get all of this stuff done, get my whole room like all cleaned up and everything like that in the day before I end up picking Mariko up later at night and then bringing all of her stuff over. And it's just, that's gonna be a really exciting time. So have yourselves a fantastic day, everybody. Sayonara and stay epic.